Okay, so I'm I'm going to try and show you how to deal with this um, squash bind boar, boar that's inside of my squash. What I have been doing, and so I've been looking for signs of it, which I see here. And the other time I took this leaf off. What is that? And I kind of cut in here. I see it's probably in here as well. So I'm taking that one off because I still see signs over there. I'll try and make an incision and get in there. I know this might be a little gross. But this is what I've been doing, trying to get it out. Okay, maybe I got this one off. I think I see it. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, maybe this one is gone. Already there. Which is a good thing. Okay, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. I was wrong. There it is. Buried in there, and I'm going to take it out. And this is what it looks like. If I can pick it up for you. That's what it looks like. Now I've been taking those out. Okay, I'm going to put it on the ground and step on it. So look right here. So I've been taking those out of here. And on the other ones that I did this, when I got them out, my squash um, started back growing like it's supposed to. I've got to clean up some, so guys, I, I already know that, so don't fuss at me about it. Um, but I did that to the other ones, and I put soil on top of it, put some earth on it, and they started growing back. It seems to help repair them once I got that squash vine bore out. So that's what I did to the other ones. That one I got knit out. But yeah, that's what I've been having to do. And they started, they seem to heal themselves and started back growing. So hope that helps. Bye.